hey guys I am recording my voice over here um, and so I just want, thought it would be weird if we just like went right into the video so I wanted to pop in here and say hello welcome to the video I'm so excited to talk about something that has been such a fun project for me to work on lately just really simple things I think it's so important to be able to learn how to sew um, even if not just for practical, like how do you put on a button situations, then for fun. So I'm excited to show you how to do something as simple as writing out any sort of word, your name, you can draw it out. I'm going to show you how to print something off and transpose it onto fabric so that you can do your stitching, but it's a really simple stitch. And I've recently found out a trick to make it look really beautiful. So it's still simple, beginner friendly, but it's going to look gorgeous. Let's dive right in. To start, I got my fabric, the words, and a light board. So I'm just putting the fabric on it, turning it on, and literally just straight up tracing this sucker, okay? You can write out your own stuff, but if you want something in a specific font, this is the easiest way. I got this on Amazon. Links are in the description below. So now that I've got that transposed, what I'm going to do is just pop it into a little hoop. I bought this on Amazon as well. I bought a bunch, actually, and they're pretty cheap. So I just wanted something small. I'm just gonna tighten it and make sure that what I need is on the inside and ready to go. And I didn't even know this about like thread when you get it, embroidery thread. It makes up, it comes with a bunch of strings in it. There are six, you only need three. I typically only use three threads um, at a time. So I'm just showing you how to really easily tie a knot here. You can kind of lick the end of this to make it easier and I just roll it around my pointer finger use my thumb to kind of roll it off of my finger and then wrap my middle finger around and kind of just cinch that tight. Saves me so much time. So what we're gonna do when we actually start stitching is something, it's a really simple stitch, it's called a back stitch. So you'll obviously begin with your first stitch here, just like a small grain of rice size stitch. And then you'll go a little bit further out leaving space and you're gonna come backwards. So I'm actually really glad that this happened so early on. You're going to get knots sometimes, but I just use my needle to kind of stick it inside of that knot and just slowly pull it out so I don't waste any fabric on the, or any, any of my thread on the back there in a bunch of knots. Anyways, you'll bring your needle back to the most recent point and you're basically going to do this. It's almost like working forward a little bit and then bringing the stitch backwards. It makes sense. It's called a back stitch, but it's really, really easy. Um, the only thing that I don't like about a back stitch is that you can see those little divots where the second stitch comes back to meet the first stitch. Um, same thing as you go around corners here, like I'm doing on this F is literally just you can, I typically will maybe make my stitches smaller as I go around corners so that it looks cleaner. But for the most part, that's why I love this long open um, cursive font is because it's really easy to do straighter lines. There's not too many tight curves except the t at the top of that F and really on my E's. So yeah, the only thing I don't like about a back stitch is that you can kind of see where each stitch meets. So it just looks a little sloppy to me, I think. It looks fine if that's the style that you want. But what I'm most excited about to show is that once we continue on with our back stitch just across the, enti the entire string of this word, um, at the very end on that last stitch as we come through, you're gonna see here I finished the stitch with that last little spot and then I'm actually gonna come back up through the fabric on the very end, and then I'm done stitching through the fabric. We're done with that. But we are gonna come back and put that needle with the thread up under our loops. We're gonna do this the whole way back, and it's gonna make it look really beautiful. I'm so excited that I learned this technique because something as simple as a back stitch is really one of the only ways I knew how to do typography in thread so same thing except when I go around I kind of go from the bottom up but when I go around circles I kind of follow the circle around and I just turn my hoop upside down because I think that it looks really nice when the thread is wrapping out to kind of complete the corners and that circle so that even as I'm going around an O or for example like I'm going around this E that the string just kind of wraps around really nicely once I got that E I'll turn it 
back to my normal side and start again from the bottom up. It doesn't really matter which direction you go as long as you just stay consistent if you're going from the top down. That way your thread just kind of loops around and around and around those stitches that you already made. And when you get to the very last one, finally, all you're going to do is, of course, loop it through one last time and then put the needle back into the fabric. And we're going to turn it over and we're going to seal it off. But look how beautiful that looks. I just think it looks so clean and so fun and it's really easy to read. So the easiest way that I kind of wrap things up on the back side is I like to drive my needle through some of the thread there and loop it. I usually do this like one to two times. It's not going to come undone. You're not going to be tossing this around anywhere, but I just like to feel like it's extra secure. So I'll go through that loop twice and just kind of tug on it a bit. And then what I do is I snip off a bunch of the extra, but I leave a couple of inches so that I can separate the thread and just tie it off like a regular looped shoelace style tie that way everything is really tight and I'm not worried about anything coming loose I'll snip that off um, and really there you have it that it's as easy as that you can do anything in this style so I actually went through and of course I'm you're just watching me finish that last word here but nothing changes everything's the same uh, and once you get the habit of it it'll move a little bit quicker but it's so fun and simple and I mean you can do anything so the only thing we're gonna do to finish is dot our eye, right? So we're gonna do a French knot. You just pull the fabric up. You're actually gonna loop the, fab the little thread around your needle twice, and you just stick the needle back in the fabric at the same spot you came out. I kinda hold it taut with my left hand, and we're just gonna pull the string back through that little knot we created, and boom, it's so beautiful. I love it.